All right. Uh, uh, Captain, conditional use application uh, 929 of Lachlan Run Road. Uh, conditional use application has been submitted by Ronald and Sharon Captain for the property located on 929 Lachlan Run Road. The property is located in a mixed use district. The applicant proposed to conduct light manufacturing and electrical products specifically designed for the railroad industry at this site. Light manufacturing is subject to, uh, to 903.23 of the zoning ordinance. The applicant has met all requirements as set forth in the ordinance for the planning commission and engineer sites, recommend, recommending consideration for the application by council. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be, we're, we already got the reputation out there. 
Okay? Now it's a matter of the groups within the railroads arguing amongst themselves. Like some of the, some of the older fellows, they want to have like the big names that were in the industry for uh, a century. And now we're coming along here. We're 18 years old, our company. We are full time in this company for the past five years. So we're, and people look at us like, well, wow, you know, these companies have been around 100 years, and this guy's been around 80 years, and you're here for you know, four or five years, and so yeah, well, we've got to start somewhere. And the, the proof is in the pudding, guys. <coughs> Buy our stuff. We have a two year warranty on everything we sell, and we're thinking about making a five, 10 year on a couple of parts. And, and the reason is, is we've had no failures in 10 years, 15 years. Some of, some of the stuff is 18 years old. Our very first products. So, and they're, and that's one of the ones that Union Pacific has standardized on. And what it does is it goes on to the main breaker panel in these houses where the AC power comes in. One of the highest hits for lightning strikes. It, the power lines go for miles. And what happens is these power lines get energized, come down the line, and they'll do one of two things. They'll either blow apart the protection that's there, or it will go past the protection, get right into the equipment, and destroy it, even with the protection there. And a lot of the protection that's out there, they have no idea that it's me. I was, at a, I was on a site for the uh, Wisconsin Central many years ago, which is now being purchased by uh, Canadian National. We were in a bungalow, one of these silver bungalows, and I said to them, they had a lightning protection device up on the main brake panel. And I said to the guy, I says, um, I said, do you know that thing's working? And the guy says, I have no idea. I said, well, do you have one of your maintainers take it off the panel? Let's crack it open right here and take a look at it. And we did, took a screwdriver, and they have the same epoxy with the lid shut on it. Took a hammer and the screwdriver, popped it off. The thing was pure charcoal, burned to a crisp inside. The chief engineer of the railroad looked at it, and he says, I wonder how many of these we got out here like this. <laughs> and I says, it's not doing any good. And he goes, well, how is yours better? Way more energy you can handle, and we advertise protection you can see. It has a clear lid. <coughs> you can look right at the parts. You'll know right away if, it, if the parts are burned. Right away. The maintainer walks in the building. He sees the little lights on. It's like, okay, we've got power. We're good. The box is right. If you lose one half of the 240, the 120 240, which is your house power, if you lose even half of it, the goes out. He says, hey, we got a problem here. One of our phases is out. Okay. The other thing is, if any of the parts that go bad in this, the way they go bad, the way they fail, don't produce smoke, which covers the clear lid on the box. So this thing is sitting right on top of the breaker panel, or on the side, underneath, if you can put it in which direction, there's no, no uh, you know, different positioning that's better than any other. It's good everywhere. And they can see the light inside, says, okay, we've got power, it's in the right phase, we've got it all good, and oh, wait a minute, this is all black here. Okay, well, what do we do about that? Jeez. I've got to call an electrician to change it, just like all of our competition devices. No, you don't. Once that thing is in, it has the removable front cover, <coughs> captive screws, that they don't fall and get kicked out the door under a rack or something like that. It's there, right there, right here for you. The maintainer will never lose it. And then all the wiring is fully insulated, so they can actually disconnect this box if they want to replace the whole thing without getting shot. But we do tell them to put breakers in series, turn them off. But if they couldn't, for some reason, the trains are coming or whatever, you can do it all right there on the panel. And you don't require a union electrician to come out and, and change out of the breaker panel. Any maintainer can do it. And the parts, there are three main parts in it. Three main parts, the, the actual surge protection parts. They're like a giant version of what you would buy to protect your computer. Okay? Instead of going around on discs that are 20 millimeters, these are 53 millimeters. They can handle 70,000 amperes of, of current from the lightning strike. Yeah, that's, 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 that's more than okay? even um, like um, the NEC and UL and all those recommend. So when that happens, let's just say one of them decides to burn out. Well, one of the questions from the railroad was, we, we haven't had this happen, so we don't know. And we, we said, well, I do know because I'm the designer. Okay? I analyze all this stuff and do the calculations. And they said, well, if that happens, 
we're, we're left unprotected until somebody goes in and repairs it. And I said, well, well, you're not really unprotected because we have two stages of protection in there. You lose the one, you've got the other, and you're still up and running. Well, I tell you, when I, when I heard that, it was like, whoa, okay, this is good. And we can see it. We know if it's bad, okay? Okay, what's it take to repair it? Let me take that cover off. The, the, the devices, I should have brought one of those with me. The, the devices that are in there, we have to take in, we put a bend in the legs of these, these, these huge MOVs, and we cut a U slot. Actually, we don't cut it, the manufacturer does that. We have a cutting it. Quarter turn on the screws, slide it out, slide the new one in, quarter turn, spit inside the clear cover, take a paper towel, and maybe, I don't know where I wrote it, you'd be surprised how resourceful these guys can be. Okay, I've been to many, many locations over the last 45 years. And, and uh, they'll, they'll just wipe that out, put it right back on, they're, they're in business. You look great, brother. Yeah. I can see the fascination. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, he's compassionate about his job. I've been doing this a while. I can't tell. I've been all to the original. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. 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 I, think, I, think, I think this location at 929, I think it's going to work for us. I really do. Um, we're going to grow. It's going to be, at you know, first, there's going to be Sharon and I, and then one other individual. <laughs>